Madison King. My name is Michael Coma. Maddie Haberberger. Megan Lehman. My name is Brady Warnbein. Kristen Burchak. Maya Bankhead. Journalism. Advertising. Advertising. Digital media production. My major is public relations. From the second that I started taking classes in MDJ, we were doing like hands-on work. So at Kent, we recognize that the world is becoming a digital world. Of course, public relations is evolving from what you saw in the 1920s and now what you see moving into 2020 in order to manage the reputation of an organization. How, how do you do that? Majoring in advertising and getting a degree in advertising kind of leaves the door open for several opportunities in a lot of different industries. Every single industry needs advertising in some way, shape, or form. There's a wide range of student organizations involving MDJ for people to join. Every project that I've done, 99% of it is student run. I can pitch an idea and have it be on my show in like a week. So I got involved with Kent Communication Society as a freshman. We were doing a lot of LinkedIn, career building type things. PRSSA is the Public Relations Student Society of America and it's a pre-professional organization for PR students and all other majors as well if they want to get interested. If it wasn't for KSYF, I probably wouldn't have found my passion and what I love to do in film and just got the, the necessary experience to really start working on my craft and developing my uh, career. This newsroom that we're in right now houses TV2. It's where we prep for the show. So we're in here every day building 30-minute newscasts and building 30-minute entertainment shows in all different genres. But this is also where the Kent Stater works, and they have print editions of newspapers and write web stories for our website. Right down the hall is BSR. It's a real radio station. We have like four or five magazines, and we have the sales office that connects us with advertisers that we can put on our site and put in our shows. We're really working in the field that we want to be working in, and we're still in school. So when people ask for resumes or people ask for work samples, we have like tangible good stuff to show them. And that's proof that we're learning and we're doing. Oh man, it's prepared me so much. I mean, I give credit to um, all my professors. I think they treat students more as individuals rather than numbers. You do get the chance to really grow a connection and relationship with the professors and um, kind of look up to them as mentors and advisors. All the professors really take a hands-on approach. Just everything you need to be prepared, they, the professors have it for you. Uh, both DMP and my internship have prepared me a lot more than I could have even expected going into it, honestly. The DMP program specifically is really good at preparing you for actual jobs that you could possibly get. So that's really nice about DMP is you can actually get your foot in the door and make connections and meet people that you could actually work with, as well as making content that you could actually use in the future. I can apply for jobs in all kinds of communications fields because this building and the classes that I've taken, they converge in a way that Stuff I'm learning in PR, I'm like, oh, I can apply that to the journalism stuff I'm doing. And when I'm out shooting interviews, I remember learning three-point lighting in my cinematography classes. And it's like, it all connects and it all helps so much. People who choose an MDJ major, they want to make something and they want it to be good. They want to bring something to the world through their eyes that only really they can see and only they can portray. At the end of the day, MDJ students, they're storytellers, and MDJ prepares them to tell those stories.